So now, let us talk about stresses in soil mass. So this is just actually a continuation of the discussion that we had previously on stresses in soil. Or actually that part have focused on the effective stresses of our soil. Alright, so construction of a foundation causes changes in the stress, usually a net increase. So the net stress increase in the soil depends on the load per unit area to which the foundation is subjected. So the depth below the foundation at which the stress estimation is desired and other factors. It is necessary to estimate the net increase of vertical stress in soil that occurs as a result of the construction of a foundation so that settlement can be calculated. So this chapter discusses the principles of estimation of vertical stress increase in soil caused by various types of loading based on the theory of elasticity. Although natural soil deposits in most cases are not fully elastic, isotropic or homogeneous materials, calculations for estimating increases in vertical stress yield f fairly good results of practical work. So this topic or this discussion or this module rather um, is just an introductory part of the stresses um, in soil mass giving a discussion, which represents our shear stress. No? So to determine the normal stress and the shear stress on plane EF, now we have a point or a plane on, in consideration right here, which is EF, no? which is um, siguro considered as the plane of failure. No? So to determine the normal stress and the shear stress on the plane EF, that makes an angle theta, with plane, with plane AB, we need to consider the free body diagram EFB shown in figure B here. So let sigma N and tau N be the normal stress and the shear stress no, here, respectively on plane EF. So from geometry, we know that um, EB is equal to EF cosine theta and FB is equal to EF sine theta. Theta. So, summing the two components of forces that act on the element in the direction of our normal stress and the shear stress or the N and the T axis, we have this one or we have, we can come up with this formula here for our normal stress and our shear stress as well as our tangent to theta or the computation for our theta. So, this, these are one or this could be um, the formula that you may use later on in problems related to the determination of normal stress and shear stress of a soil element. So for the given values of um, tau sub x, y, or this is our shear stress, um, and our sigma y and sigma x, which are our normal stresses, the previous equations, nakatagaganiha, will give two values of theta. No, that are 90 degrees apart. So this means that there are two planes that are at right angles to each other on each on which the shear stress is zero. So such planes are called the principal planes. The normal stresses that act on the principal planes are referred to as principal stresses. So the values of principal stresses can be found by these equations no? or these formula. We, our major principal stress or Sigma 1, no? we can calculate that using this formula and as well as this one. Although you don't need to really memorize this formula because later on, there, there would be no, uh, an introduction of another way to solve for these stresses. Okay. So we have the Mohr circle. Now I know some of you are already familiar with Mohr circle because Mohr circle is not only applicable for soil mechanics, but it is also um, adapted in subjects like strength of material. So the more the normal stress and shear stress that act on any plane can also be determined by plotting Mohr's circle as shown in this figure. So the following sign conventions are used in Mohr circles, which will uh, later on be very um, useful for us in drawing our own Mohr circle. So compressive normal stresses are taken as positive and shear stresses are considered positive if they act on opposite faces of the element in such a way that they tend to produce a counterclockwise rotation. So meaning, in our Mohr circle, we have to adapt the sign conventions, which says that 
um, compressive normal stresses will have positive sign and shear stresses that will incur counterclockwise rotation on our plane of consideration will have a positive um, sign. So the opposite for that will have a negative sign. So for plane ED, we have here the norm, uh, yes, a normal stress equal to delta x, a uh, sigma, no, not delta, sigma x, and shear stress equals tau sub xy. No? So for plane AB, the normal stress equals this one, no? sigma y, and shear stress equal to our tau sub xy. So points R and M in the Mohr circle represent the stress conditions on plane AD and AB respectively. No? So kani sila nga mga stresses, pag abot dito sa tong Mohr circle, i-plot na na siya in points R and M. No? Okay, we have our y-axis here is the shear, for the shear stress and our x-axis will be our normal stress na axis. No? So anything or any movement along y-axis will represent our value for shear stress and any movement along x-axis will represent a value for our normal stress. So kaning sigma y din ni is actually um, can be plotted along our normal stress or our x our x axis here as well as this uh, the tau sub x y uh, can be plotted along our um, y axis no so o is the point of intersection of the normal axis or the normal stress axis with the line rm where that is the center of our circle so the circle mn mn q r s and o r as the radius and as the center would be z or o no if this is our circle our center would be o our radius is equal to o r no or o m either it could also be the radius of the Mohr circle can be calculated using this equation or it could be directly plotted in the normal stress axis or the x axis no this is this distance from this point of the circle or the center of the circle at point O, that is the distance from the origin, or we can use this equation. So the stress on plane EF, no, which is the point of consideration, can be determined by moving an angle equal to 2 theta, which is twice the angle that plane EF makes in a counterclockwise direction with plane AB no, in this figure. In a counterclockwise direction from point M. No, we have to move from OM, we have to move an angle equal to 2 theta. And then we could reach the point O, point Q rather. So the abscissa and the ordinate of point Q respectively give the normal stress and the shear stress of plane EF. No? So from point M though, we have to move 2 theta in a counterclockwise direction and then we will arrive with if we are going to project that one uh, the point in the Mohr circle no given by this 2 theta from our point m or from our line a o m ang kanikonong coordinates meaning the abscissa and the ordinate of this point q here um, will, will give the normal stress which can be taken from the abscissa or the x value and then the shear stress will be given by the ordinate of this point. So because the ordinates, that is the shear stress of points N and S are zero, they represent the stresses on the principal planes. So the abscissa of point N is equal to sigma 1 and the abscissa for point S is sigma 3. Okay, so S in here is actually our minimum principal stress or the nearest point or nearest distance from our region in the Mohr circle, no? And then our point N in here is actually the maximum principal stress or our sigma 1, which is the farthest point from our region in the Mohr circle. So as a special case, in the planes AB, 
and AD were major and minor principal planes, the normal stress and the shear stress on plane EF could be found by substituting um, nor, uh, this is the shear stress or the tau sub xy equal to zero. Thus, we can come up with this equation. No? We can use this equation in order for us to solve for the normal stress in our plane EF or the um, abscissa and the, and the ordinate here. We can also use this equation. So the more circle for such stress condition no, shown in this figure, the abscissa and the ordinate of point Q give the normal stress and the shear stress respectively on point EF. This is the, uh, the plane EF. Ang yang normal stress or shear stress and any will be given by the abscissa and the ordinate of this point Q here respectively. So we have here more on more circles. So that um, discussion that we had no, just recently, um, <clears throat> was taken from the book of Brahadas. And this explanation or this discussion here is given by um, a review book by Bessavilia. So we have here our... Um, soil element no with with stresses acting on it no the same like and this would be our more circle and then we also have from that we have we also have another equations that will come uh, that will uh, enable us to arrive with the value of our radius of the circle and the tangent to theta value no so same lang yapon siya Although you don't really need to understand this because later on we will have a sample problem which will um, elaborate on um, the parts of our more circles. So all you have to do is just be familiarized with the parts of it. No, we have on the more circle we have the Q1, which is the maximum principal stress that would be equal to our um, sigma y plus sigma x divided divided by 2 plus our radius and our sigma 3 which is our minimum min, minor rather minor principal stress um, which is equal to this one or this is actually the equation for our center no um, sigma y plus sigma x over 2 minus the radius so more lang and our tangent to theta value can be solved uh, using this equation. So our shear stress on plane AB plane AB in here is the action, the plane of failure no? would be equal to this equation or can be computed using this equation and the normal stress on plane AB no, using this more circle can be calculated using this equation. And yes, you have um, the freedom to just memorize these equations so that later on, using the given values of our sigma y and sigma x and computing the value for our radius using this equation here, no, which, is, which can also be derived or taken using, by, using the given values for sigma y, sigma x, and our shear stress, no? So our two beta and two theta as well can be taken from our more circle. Uh, these are these are these angles. So more on Moore's circle, no? We have the pole method of finding stress along plane, along a plane that is plane EF in this case, no? First we have to draw a um, for first, we have we also have to plot no um, the points N and M here using the given stresses in the problem, and then from that you have to draw a line MP parallel to AB. So from point the by establish ni mong N o gang M din ka una, and then you have to draw a parallel line to AB that is a horizontal man AB no, you have to project that one. And then draw a line parallel to EF and Dion. And then we will arrive with your point Q. Where and getting point Q in a bisag ordinate, only yang yang ordinate any rather, will be the normal stress and the shear stress of our plane EF, respectively.
So, we have here example problem number one, no? So, we have to solve for um, the magnitudes of the principal stresses and the normal stress and as well as the shear stress on plane AB without using the Mohr circle. See, we are given here our figure and the stresses are, we have the normal stress equal to 2,000 pounds per square foot and our shear stress is equal to 800 pounds per square foot and our sigma y is equal to 2,500 pounds per square foot and our theta is equal to 20. So we are asked to determine the magnitudes of the principal stresses, meaning the minor principal stress and the major principal stress and as well as the normals and the shear stresses. So ang kaning um, mga given values, um, we have to plot uh, we have to plot this in if we are going to use for we are going to use the more circle but this time um we will just stick to the equations given by the um, book of brahadas so we have this solution here no kanisang equation is given already so all you have to do is plug in all the given values no and then you will come up with your sigma 1 which is your major principal stress and your sigma 3 is equal to your minor principal stress. So your principal stress therefore is equal to 3088.15 pounds per square foot and your sigma 3 or your minor principal stress would be equal to 1411.85 pounds per square foot. Alright, so the next being asked are the normal stresses and uh, the normal and the shear stress stresses rather all right so these equations are already given not this equation for the normal stress and the shear stress um, are already given no, based on our previous discussions all you have to do is plug in all the given values for sigma y and sigma x now um, by the way this 2000 pounds in here is actually sigma x your sigma y would be equal to 2500 so computing this one you will come up with the values of your normal stress and your shear stress, respectively. So that solution is simply based on the equations no, given by the previous discussion. So, um, Although, if you are not able to memorize uh, the equations for that, no, for the principal stresses, the normal stresses, and the shear stress, you have another option, which is... Um, the more circle so this is another sample problem no which we will be using the more circle in order for us to compute for the major principal stress the minor principal stress and as well as the normal stress and the shear stress all right so for the solution of the sample problem number two first let us compute for the major principal stress so before we can do that we have first to establish our more morse circle so for us to do that let us have first this and then we will discuss you now how did we come up with um this circle no so first we did um, basically, in establishing our Mohr circle, we have to establish first a point and then another point and then we, we just have to connect that and then draw a circle around it and from that, um, that will be our um, Mohr circle where we would identify our major principal stress, minor principal stress, our normal stress, and the shear stress at our point or plane of failure here CE si no kay kanin siya nga problem naga focus gyud siya diri sa atong uh, plane of failure CE si so first um let us focus on the given values no we have this one so sa more circle um kanin siya nga mga given values kaning um first set sa ato ang shear and the normal stress no duha siya ka set kani sila ang mag serve as initial points in our more circle no so um we know nga ang um the normal stress will be on or will serve as the abscissa or the x uh, coordinate of our point and then the shear stress will serve as the ordinate of our um point no in 
the more circles. So, duha siya ka-points, kibali kay duha man siya ka-set sa coordinates. No? So, first we have to recall the discussion that we had no, on the sign convention for um, establishing our more circle. So, we have um, a compression will have a positive sign and the counterclockwise direction of rotation will have a positive um, sign. So, first, uh, this one, no, our normal stress sub y, which is equal to 50 kPa, na siya iyahang counter, this is yung opposite side, no, kaya magiging nani magiging given. So, yung counter ani is this one, no, pasaka siya. So, therefore, this will have a compressive effect on our plane CE, no, kay, um, the direction of the force is towards, man, our plane CE, that's why it would tend to compress our plane CE. Therefore, it is compression and therefore it will have a positive sign. Okay. Now, next, this shear stress XY, which is equal to 50 kPa, no? Directed towards the left. Ang iyahang counter ana is this one. No? This AB here. So, therefore, uh, it will cause a rotation like this, in this direction, against our plane CE, no? Um, therefore, if it will rotate in this direction, in respect to our plane CE, it has a counterclockwise direction. Therefore, it will incur a positive direction. So, that would be on the first set of our um, points or coordinates for our more circle. So next is this one, no? This given values here. First, let us he have the normal stress sub x, which is equal to 150 kPa. This one. So it is directed towards the left, and it has a counter on the other side, no? On the opposite side, which is directed towards the right as well. So therefore, it it tends to compress again our point or our plane CE here because um, it is or they are both directed towards our plane CE. So therefore, this normal stress sub X, is equal, which is equal to 150 kPa, um, will have a positive sign because it is compression no? in respect to our plane CE. Now, this shear stress, K, uh, 50 kPa, no? um, shear stress um, sub xy um, is directed towards the bottom no or downwards yang counter ani on the opposite side is this one and it is directed upwards so therefore in respect to our plane ce it will rotate in this direction and that direction is clockwise so therefore um, our sign convention says that counterclockwise rotation will have a positive so um clockwise direction will have a negative sign. So, this here is one set of coordinates of a point in our Mohr circle as well as this one. So, therefore, kanisha x is equal to 50, y is positive 50. So, therefore, our coordinates here is 50, comma 50 or 50x, a positive 50 for our x and positive 50 for our y. So, isa na siya kaset no, sa atong x o y coordinates our abscess and our Coordinate. So, for this second set, ang um, atong coordinate here would be positive 150, comma, negative 50. Or our abscissa is positive 150 and our ordinate is negative, 100, uh, negative 50, rather. So, if we are going to point or to plot this, no, on our more circle, so we have here our, um, Cartesian plane, wherein atong y-axis will always be for the shear stress and our x-axis will be for the normal stress. So, any uh, movement along the y-axis is our shear stress and any movement along our x-axis will be the value of our normal stress. So, first, this set of coordinates, if we are going to plot this in our more circle or in our Cartesian plane, no? Uh, 50 ang x, so we are, we are going to move 50, and then ang y is positive 50 man, so masaka sa tag positive 50. So that that would be this point, no? and that is our point M. 
So, kaning next po nga set sa atong coordinates, if we are going to plot this in our Cartesian plane, um, atong x is 150, positive 150. So, we are going to move along our x-axis, no? Kay normal stress na siya. So, we are going to move equal to 150. And then, ang atong y din ha is negative 50 man daw, no? Dere. So, from that, 100, positive 150, and then negative 50. So, that would give us this point n. No? So, ana siya. Initially, wala pa ni siyang circle, no? Uh, na lang siya sa drawing kay para... Um, gusto lang ako siya ipakita po sa inyo, ha? Okay. So, let us focus on the colored ones, no? Kaning illustrate in the illustration. Okay. So, next, if we have these two points, all we have to do is connect them. Uh, this will serve as the diameter of our Mohr circle. Alright. So, if we are going to draw a circle around that, then we have our Mohr circle already for the soil element with these given stresses, no? So, therefore, our circle has a center at this point, which is equal, which is the distance would be equal to 100, no? Okay, 100 mo siya dito, yeah. So, ang kanang pag-measure sa 100 is just, um, maragi assume lang siya, no? Or bana-bana lang siya kay, um, if this is 50 and this is 150 here, kaning a point. So, we can just manually um, identify kung pila ang atong um, distance, atong center from the origin. No? Tama. Or, that is um, 50 plus 150 divided by 2. No? So, Alright, so if we have a circle, the next thing that we have to do is identify its radius. And for us to do that, let us consider this triangle. No? So, kanin siya nga triangle. Um, Yahang dimension ani is, so this um, bottom part of the triangle would be equal to 100 man doon center. Tapos na rin take, um, abscisa din nga equal to 50. No, so, that is 100 minus 50. So, 50 ni siya diri ah, ang sukod, aning bottom part sa itong triangle. So, ang kanina yung vertical part sa itong triangle uh, would be equal to 50, no? Kaya ang kanina siya nga movement dan is atong along our y-axis is actually equal to 50 kPa. So, our triangle therefore is 50 by 50 ang yahang vertical o horizontal nga dimension. So, if you are going to solve for that, meaning... Um, this is a right angle, meaning we can use the Pythagorean theorem. So, R squared is equal to 50 squared plus 50 squared. So, our radius for this Mohr circle would be equal to 70.7. Okay. So, the next one, we are asked to compute for the major principal stress. Actually, ang kanang major principal stress, mo na siya ang maximum normal stress sa ato ang more circle. No? Our principal stress is the normal stress man. So, uh, meaning, ang pinakadako no, na principal stress na ma-experience sa atong soil particle or soil element is actually the farthest point no, from our origin in the more circle. So, meaning, that is this part here. Butang nato, diri siya nga part, no? It is the farthest point from the origin in our Mohr circle. So, that is, if our um, center is 100 away from our origin, meaning this point here, this point here, is 100 plus the radius. So, that would be 100 plus R, which is equal to 70.7. Therefore, our major principal stress is equal to 170.7 kPa. Or, you can also use the formula uh, that we have previously discussed in the previous slides. So, now, the next is um, the minor principal stress. So, ang minor principal stress is the nearest point from the origin in the Mohr circle. So, Monisha, no? this is the origin. Ang yang pinakaduol nga point sa Mohr circle is this one. No? 
or that is 100, if this is 100, no, our center, may nusa na to siya r, mo ni siya na distance, or our q3, or our q, minim, uh, our sigma, rather, our sigma minimum, which is our minim, min, minor principal stress, and that would be equal to 100, or the center, minus the radius, that would be equal to 29.3 kPa. So, that is our minor principal stress and our major principal stress. Although, you can also use the um, formula for this one that we have previously discussed. Okay, so the next thing that we are asked for is the normal stress and the shear stress, no? On point CE or on our point of failure or plane of failure CE. So, for us to do that, we have to follow these two steps, no? Or most common steps. Or the, although, there are a lot of ways on how to proceed with the computation of our um, normal stress and our shear stress for point C, you know? But let's just follow this one. First, we have to draw from point M, draw a line NP parallel to line AC. So, from point N daw, we have to draw a line parallel to AC. So, that is vertical line. So, we have to draw a vertical line. So, that is, and I don't know if you were able to see that, that is the yellow line no, projected upwards. The second one, so that would be our point P, no? That is parallel. So, line NP in here is parallel to our line AC, no? So, the next one is from point P daw, draw a line PQ parallel to CE. So, mo itong CE, no? It has a 12 degree angle from the vertical. So, we have just, we just have to um, reflect that or this scenario into our Mohr circle. So, to do that, we are going to project a line PQ, no? With a um, angle from the vertical equal to 12 degrees. So, manin siya kibali ang atong line CE or our plane CE, which is our plane of failure, no? Ang kaning PQ. So, therefore, kaning point Q, ang iyahang um, X value in here would be the normal stress, and then yung y value here, no? Kaya siyempre, um, Cartesian plane man siya, no? So, every point in here along the x-axis is actually the normal stress, and any point along the y-axis will be our shear stress. So, meaning, kaning point Q din eh, similar siya sa atong point, C, point E din or atong line PQ represents our line CE in here. So, basically, the coordinates for our point Q will be our um, normal stress and the shear stress for our um, soil element here. And then, atay, before we proceed, na atay gi, um, principle na ginafalo si Moore circle, no? It is, um, ang movement daw din eh, we, we have to do a movement, no? Along our Moore circle equal to 2 theta. Kung 12 ni siya diri, we have to move 2, the, 2 times the theta, or that is 24 degrees along our Mohr circle. So, mo siya kibali, no? So, kung 12 na na, we have to move a 24 um, degree. Or we have to move for 24 degrees um, ani, no? So, from here, we have to move 24 degrees, and that would be on point Q as well. And that would, and the theta from between them, would be equal to 2 theta or that is um, 24 degrees. No? So, given ni siya always. Always ni siya ginabuhat um, when we are doing more circle. So, to focus on this area in the more circle here so we can arrive with our normal stress and the shear stress for the soil element, let us calculate that one. So, mo ni siya, no? Um, we have our point Q, no? Para ka ganiha. And then our point N, our radius. So, <clears throat> di ba, yung si Mohr circle, na mag-move daw ka o 2 theta, no, from this, towards our point of um, focus, kaya bali mo niya nga itong point of, or plane of failure, no, yung theta daw, Anna, is 2 theta, or in this case, that would be equal to 24, no. So, kung kanisya 45, no, based atong 
uh, similar triangle kagay ni Hadi Ninong at ang ibuhat. Um, so, where we have arrived, the value of our radius, no? 45 man to diri, ano? So, based on the solution. So, meaning, kanin pa siya diri 45, good ni. So, kung kana siya 24, meaning, ang kana diyang nabilin is 21, no? So, meaning, ang atong coordinate or, no, the abscissa for our point Q in here is um, 100 plus this here, this distance, no? This one. Let me show. So, ang kanyahang, we know that the normal stress is actually the x, no? Is the distance from the origin along the x-axis. So, meaning, yung distance ani is, would be equal to 100, sorry, let me redo that one. It is 100 plus this distance. No? Muna siya ang atong um, abscissa for this point Q here. So, I hope na substantial yung apart, no? So, now, all we have to do is solve for this area. Ah, uh, solve for this distance. Okay. So, if we are going to consider, and for us to do that, we have to consider this triangle. So, kanan siya nga triangle, no? So, ang kani would be equal since since this one is actually the radius, so and we have a unknown angle here, meaning that is r cosine theta, no? So this one is equal to r cosine theta. So therefore, our abscissa for this point Q, which is, which represents our point of failure CE here, is equal to 100 plus r cosine 21, no? So and we have already solve for our radius, kaganihan, no? All we have to do is substitute that one and we'll come up with our normal stress on plane CE which is equal to 166 kPa. Okay. So, the last one being asked is the shear stress on plane CE. So, ang shear stress is just the Y, no? Or the ordinate of our point Q here. No? So, meaning this one. No, it is the distance from the x-axis na moment natong ordinate. Or a movement along the y-axis. Or, in here, this is our shear stress man, di ba? And our normal stress nga um, axis. So, any movement along here is our shear stress. So, in this case, for us to be able to get the distance, this one, no, kanin gamay? Let us consider this triangle again. So, if this is radius, which we have previously solved, and then we have a known angle here, which is equal to 21, no? Um, therefore, this distance or, this, or the dimension of this would be equal to R sine 21, no? Kay opposite na siya sa atong angle. So, that would be equal to R sine 21 or our radius is equal to 70.7 .7, which we have previously solved times sine 21. Then we have 25.34 kPa and we included a negative sign in here because it is on because it is on the bottom part of our origin, no? If this is our origin, so, all the values in here will be negative. So, since along y-axis, our point of consideration is in here, so that's why its ordinate will have a negative sign. Alright, so that would be all for the stresses in soil mass. Thank you so much.